Hi, how are you? This video is inspired in the channel of, uh, in the last video of the channel uh, uh, from a Catholic mom life, um, because she was showing what a Catholic uh, house must have. But I want to show you what do I have in my house. Uh, let's start from the from the door. Uh, the Lord of Mercy, and you, he says, Jesus, I trust in you. But what happened to me when I put this is that I didn't realize it was on top of this a sticker from a state war, from a, a state farm, and it says, Jesus, I trust in you, of course. And he says, warning, this home is protected, of course, not just protected from a state farm, because, but it's protected for Jesus Christ. And also says, valuable within are marked and identified. It's like, of course, me and my husband, we are valuable and also we are marked by the baptized and we are identified like, as Catholics, of course. But now I will show you all the Catholic things that I have in my house. I hope you like them. Well, the first thing and the most important is, well, of course, everything is important, but I will show you this is um, the Lady of Pilar. Uh, that's why my name is Pilar, uh, for her. She appears in Spain in a pillar, in a pillar. Uh, that's why she's the Virgin of the Pilar, uh, of the Pilar. Well, Pilar is how you say it in, in, in Spanish. Uh, she's, when you go to Zaragoza in Spain, really, she's really little. She maybe is this size. Um, it's, really, it's so cute to see the Virgin of the Pilar. And she's, she's here. This, um, uh, a friend of mine from Spain gave this to me. Um, he's a follower of my channel and I love him a lot. His name is Pablo. He grabbed the, he get the, he got the Virgin on Spain, of course, because he's from Madrid, and, and he traveled to Poland to to work your day in Krakow, and we found each other in Krakow, and he said, I brought you something from from Spain, and he gave me this. So this this Virgin was in Zaragoza, then in Madrid, then in Krakow, then here in New York. This is not she cute, so beautiful. I love her a lot. Other thing that I have is this that I brought from Poland. It's in Swarovski. Has all the all the things that the shining is the Swarovski crystal. It's a very beautiful um, thing that I brought from Poland. Other thing that I have, other thing that I have is this. This is the cross of San Damian, a crucifix of San Damian. It's so beautiful. Uh, the father of my husband went to Italy and bought this. Uh, he gave it to my husband. It's very beautiful. Other thing Catholic that I have here, of course, is that I broke from Poland. Is the Virgin of Czestochowa, and she's here. She's so beautiful. She's the Queen of Poland. Um, of course, from Poland too. <laughs> I brought this uh, holy water. This is from the Sanctuary of the Virgin of the Calvary. This is a very important uh, sanctuary because John Paul II, when he was a child, he was studying in the in the school near to this um, to this church to, to the Church of the Virgin of the Calvary, um, and he heard that somebody uh, start to to ring the bell very hard, and when they ring the bell very hard any time of the of the day it means that somebody died and he was waiting for his mother to die because his mother was really sick and he was in the school in that moment when he heard the sound of the of the bell and he crying like crazy stand up from the school and run to to see his mother but unfortunately when he arrived to his home his mother already was dead and he used to go to this uh, sanctuary when he was a child, his father took him there a lot of times. And when he was a pope, he came to this sanctuary several, several times. And from there is this holy water. And this is of the, the Lord of Mercy, of course, uh, here. I, I have some holy water here. Oh, good. Other thing Catholic that I have here is this beautiful virgin. You see, it's so cute with this little candle. Of course, it's an electric candle. I... Uh, and you like this like this it's really little you can see there the light is the virgin with the baby Jesus 
is this this my my husband gave me because he did, he said that I don't know that I didn't have a place where to put my rosary. This rosary is, is from silver uh, that I brought from Peru. It's it's beautiful. It's handmade. This and here is the sacred sacred heart of Jesus here. I don't know if you can see there. Well, you can see a little. It's very beautiful. Is this that I have? I, I, this is in my bedroom uh, with my husband, of course. Is the scapulari of the Virgin of the Carmel, the Virgen del Carmelo, of course. They said if, if you wear this, the Virgin promised you that you, you, you will go to heaven and she will help you a lot, the Virgin of the Carmel, of course. Other Catholic thing that I have is this, other, well, I have rosaries everywhere, but these are kind of my favorite rosaries. This is one that I brought, of course, from Poland when I went to see the Pope Francis in Borgia Day in Krakow. And this is it's, it's beautiful. In the, I like the color. And here is the Virgin with Jesus. I don't see. You can see there. Virgin Mary and Jesus. And here is John Paul II. Very beautiful rosary, of course. I love the color of the bed. It's, this purple is so beautiful. And I found this that they brought from Italy. The, this across, uh, it's a rosary uh, that they brought from Italy. Uh, it's a Franciscan rosary. This is the, the cross of San Damian here of course a Damian little and this is a Damian big you see big and little why because this is a franciscan one it's from san francis order uh, the beds are made of um, on wood and each our father is a franciscan tau you can see another tau another tau it's beautiful the tau franciscan tau like the tau i have here Yes, I have a tattoo of the Franciscan Tau, and here it says Pax et Bonum, which, uh, and here it says Christ, and this is a beautiful rosary, ah, and here I have a rosary, this is a, no, it's a denary, not a rosary, and here it says, I don't know if you can read, Totus Tus and Jean Paul II, yes, um, because I, I want to say that I'm, I'm completely of the heart of Mary, this is the scripture day by day, it's a beautiful book that I would, because you know I'm learning English. I'm sorry if my English is not good, but it's a book that says the scripture day by day and explaining a little. Uh, it's how to grow in the faith. This is from Aquinas Press. Uh, you can see it right there, Aquinas Press. It's very beautiful. I bought this in my church because they have a little store there, little store. I have this also beloved Catholic prayers because sometimes Aquinas prays too, because sometimes I, I know how to pray all this in Spanish because I was raised in a Catholic, very 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 Catholic, very Catholic uh, home. I have different Bibles. I have a big Bible that is upstairs. I couldn't bring it here, but uh, I have this one that is little, but this this is in wood from Holy Land. You can see this is some Holy Land dust, or you can see. Holy Land does there, and this good news Bible is the, the Bible from Jerusalem. Of course, there is some markers there. It's gold here, and you can see there is a map of Jerusalem. It's, it's, it has some pictures there. I don't know where the picture. I, I find the pictures. Ooh, yeah, some pictures there. Very beautiful. I love this. This is Saint Joseph and the Virgin Mary with baby Jesus is big one ah, is that? and he is there and some people say it's San Anthony but when I bought and I when I see him I was sure that was some San uh, Francis of, of Assisi you can see eh, San Francis yes because he has a rabbit here he has some some birds and yes San Francis of Assisi because of course I'm very um, devoted to St. Francis of Assisi and this is for example this is um, elemental apologetic and it says how to explain and defend your Catholic faith and this was written by by the priest Frank Chacon and Jim Burnham it's in Spanish of course and they are explaining all those weird questions that people may sometimes you can answer if you read this you will learn how to answer to that, those questions this is also uh, the rosary with Jean Paul II uh, it's really little 
it's very useful because sometimes I don't remember in in Friday what 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 is the mystery or the the, the which kind of mystery it is. Very beautiful this book, the Messenger of the Divine Mercy. Uh, is the biography or Sor Faustina Kowalska. Uh, it's very interesting book. I recommend it if you can find it in English. I don't. Maybe it's in English because the woman who wrote this is from Poland. So I suppose uh, Eva Chaschokowska. I remember. I think it's how you say it. it's the biography of of um, Sor Faustina Kowalska. Maybe you you read it in English. Is the Imitation of Christ, and I personalize. They put my name there, Pilar Pintagro. There is my name. Uh, this is from Thomas Kempis. I don't know if you heard about. Maybe you heard Thomas Kempis, the Imitation of Christ. It's really, really beautiful. I love this book with all my heart. Why I love this book so much? Because because this book. Sometimes when I am to 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 involve in the things of of the earth of the world I'm like so silly I, this book grabbed me and made me made me touch the ground again like hey realize 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 it's like it's something that helps you to realize that you you are nothing without God because sometimes we there are too many vain things in this world and this book, The Imitation of Christ from Thomas Kempis, try to find it really, it's really good because it helps you to, to realize how, how silly you are, how, how, how silly you can be that you can... Sometimes people believe that they are so important, so, so other book that I have here is, uh, is of course in the Spanish. It's, actually, when I go to the, in the pre, in the, to Adoration, I read in Spanish. Is uh, there, so these are praise to pray in Spanish. This here, this is from San Alfonso Maria de Ligorio. Maybe Saint Alfonso Maria de Ligorio. I don't know if you know him, uh, but it's very important for us. This was written in in 1745. Is he is this the the mass for kids? It's explaining the mass for the kids with with pictures, with drawers of uh, what, which is the of course it's in Spanish. I'm sorry. Maybe this is in English. Maybe they are in English. This book, I, I'm not sure of that. Is this a new beginning? This was written by Alejandro Aguilera Titus. It's meditations uh, uh, for Lent and Easter. It's really beautiful. I don't know if I told you, but I am an extraordinary minister for uh, the. <sighs> Come here. I have all my things here. Guide for an Extraordinary Ministers of the Holy Communion, you can see there. It's the book that for the course that I took in Buffalo. Yeah, a minister, you have to take a course. It's not, it's not like you just stand up and that, that's it. No, you have to prepare, prepare yourself. Also, I have this, how to give the communion to, of the sick, because sometimes I, give, I, I, I take the communion to my father-in-law who is in the, in the nursing home. And the most important, of course, he is, is this. No, no, here is not the body of Christ, no. When I when I am planning to go to visit my father-in-law, it's uh, almost every day, but some weeks he doesn't want to, to me to give him the, the body of Christ, but some, day, some days, yes. So what happened is this, is that I go to the church and I ask the priest, uh, and he gave me one or two uh, uh, body of Christ and I put inside of this it's very beautiful I put one of two here and I give to my father-in-law this is ah, how beautiful is this and the other is this you can see is the blessed Mary with baby Jesus of course you open here and you put it here it can be in, a, in each one of both I, 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 I have both here I have in a in a bag like this sometimes people ask you for I want to keep praying, but I don't know what to pray. Of course, I have Padre Pio Novena Chaplet that is here, has a little denari here. If somebody asks me something to pray, because sometimes people in nursing homes are crying because the parent or the mother is, is very sick, so I give something to pray. Um, and all the things, and, and actually I have here, this is the, my, the aunt of my husband, and she was very really close to me. I, I have her here because really, I love her a lot and 
it's very important for me these things ah of course <laughs> i forgot to tell you of course i have here this is this, the uh, hand sanitizer because before you go to give the communion to somebody you have to clean your hands very good so it's hand sanitizers here because it's important to clean your hands of course before you give the body of christ to somebody and the last but not the least i have this book that is from san jose maria escriba de balaguer camino um, or path way i don't know if you heard about san jose maria escriba de balaguer he's from the opus day uh, i really like him a lot a lot a lot we have our little fights a lot of times but he is very important in my life uh, my mother make a confession with San Jose Maria Escriba de Balaguer. She, she confessed with him. Can you imagine that your mother have a confession with a saint? Wow! My mother has a confession with him. The other thing that I have here is something to pray the Chaplet of Mercy. That is, it's, it's like a card I, I have in my in my purse. Another thing that I have here, of course, is, is this, this is beautiful, and I will have some of these, and I will make a may, maybe a raffle with you, all of you, a giveaway. It's, it's a rosary, of course, a rosary that you can use as a bracelet and has a magnet here who opens and closes and you can use this as a, as a beautiful bracelet and nobody will know that you have here a rosary. It looks like a normal bracelet, but it's actually a rosary and you can pray and this is the cross and everything. Well, that's these are all the religious things that I have here. I hope you like them and um, if you have any comments, please uh, I am open for all any of your comments. Big kisses. Thank you for watching me. Bye.